Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Left 4 Raw. We're back on the Minecraft Redstone computer tutorial. This is part 8. In the last part, we went ahead and we actually made our connectors for each segment. Now we're going to be working on the connectors for the keyboard, okay? And if we have time, we might also delve a little bit into the controllers. Um, but like I said, we're working on the keyboard today. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to basically bring out all the lines that we took uh, because when we built the keyboard, as you can see here, we brought each line out to a certain point. Um, and we're basically going to bend these over to a point that we can work with them, which will be over there somewhere where there's uh, more space to work with. And that will be our main uh, point. So sort of be like a block. Um, and from there, we'll go ahead and we'll run them to every single one of the segments. Uh, so keep in mind, it's going to take a while because we do have to run it to every single segment. And yeah, <laughs> so we need a lot of space and a lot of time. Okay, um, and I'm going to go ahead and actually time lapse build this part and get back to you guys when uh, I need to go ahead and say something else uh, for the next part. However, first, just to tell you guys what I'm doing before I actually do it, I'm basically going to be running it just like we did with these segments over here, except, of course, we're not going to be trying to have them above ground. Uh, we will be putting these ones underground, though, and just feeding them out to, like I said, a point over here where there's a lot of space, and we'll line them out into a line, so we can have a nice sort of a CPU-type processor look um, where everything's feeding into a central block. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so right now all I'm doing is I'm just rearranging all of the actual uh, lines of redstone uh, wiring so they can align better when we're actually dealing with the segments because I built the segments in a certain way that it's not exactly lined up with how we uh, extended these out. So it'll just make our lives a lot easier so if we make it super quick and compact right here and mix it all up to the correct order, we won't have to do it for every single other one and every single other segment. Uh, I'll do this, you guys can watch this, then I'll explain another reasoning behind it in a little bit. Okay guys, so now that we have all of our redstone line segments actually organized and in the, uh, you know, organizational pattern that we need for each segment, we can actually start to feed it through. Now, the reason why we took this extra time to go ahead and jumble around in this short little space here so we can align it perfectly up here is so we can just continue this and loop it back around to the other side so we can get all of these segments easily done and won't have to rearrange everything for every single segment because rearranging it for one single segment is a lot better than all of them. So I went through a whole bunch of different ways to actually continue this out while at the same time running this back um, and keeping it organized. Because, like I said, we're just going to use a single layer because we don't want to have to run all of these wires again for every single one. We can just piggyback them off of 
each one of these, sort of daisy chain, chain them, if you will, okay? So we're going to take this first one. I believe this is either W or M. It's M. So we're going to just pull this straight back, and I'm only going to bring it out to here for right now, so we, I can just show you guys quickly what we're going to do after this so you can t continue the uh, chain on. So we're just going to quickly run the redstone here. And with the blue, we're going to go out and we're going to leave a one block space in between, okay? So the one block space. Pull that back to there. And again, another block space over here. And same thing again. Pull that back there. Continuing with the pulling. Keeping that one block space all the way with it. And this method, like I said, makes a lot more sense just because of the... Uh, there are a few different ways to do it. Like, you could go ahead and you could just continue this path straight and then try and feed them all off but then you'd have to have bridges and you'd have to wiggle your way around everything whereas this one you have simple bridges you still have bridges but you know they're simple they're they're easy to do and it, it looks also a lot cleaner because although aesthetics is not entirely everything when building a redstone computer in a video game it still is pretty important you know you want it to look nice you don't want it to look like a jumbled mess you want it to you know actually look like you know what you're doing <laughs> So we're going to continue pulling these out, and I guess I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so now that we have them all lined out, we just are having a, an extreme lack of repeaters right now, so none of this really will work if we hook it up. Um, but just to get the point across, what we're going to do from here is we're going to continue these together. We're actually going to crunch them together, but we're going to continue this other one going in a straight line. Okay, We simply will do this by going ahead and bridging it over all of them and we're going to continue with the other ones in a straight line like I just said. So I did not end up actually hooking up the entire keyboard to the uh, to this whole system right here. That's why it looks a little bit smaller than yours might. Um, however, the same idea applies. All you need to do is just bridge this one right here over the rest. Of course, bring it up high enough so you not interfere with any of the redstone down below. Or another option is you could even go under if you don't want this to be visible. But, you know, bridges actually look kind of cool in Minecraft, so uh, <laughs> we'll continue with those. So, just putting the redstone on this one. And then you can go to the next one and do the same thing. Just go diagonal up one and then place down on top of that again. And we can pull these back. Bring it to the same spot. And finish the bridge. And like I said, this will allow us to go ahead and keep using the same method and all the way around the board so we don't have to keep using all these micro, you know, controlling pieces. And at the end of the bridges, it'll just end up right back at this point. And then we just turn it again to continue the bridge and yada yada. Okay, so this is how we do this. I'm going to go ahead and do this and then continue with everything else okay guys so after you go ahead and get to this point what you can do is you can simply pull all these pieces out and basically align them up exactly like we have this little piece set up here now you could go ahead and if you're really picky you could spread these out so they're all on the ground um, right next to each other then you can use either repeaters or simple blocking like hexagonal uh, system the only problem is then you run into problems with you need enough space for this so this is the easiest method I found. Just go ahead and set them up sort of in a checkerboard pattern so it blocks out the connection uh, between the signals. So if, you know, normally they'd be connecting like that, but you could just block it out like that. Or you could just put repeaters so they don't connect. If, say we just had a normal piece of redstone right there, it would connect, but we have repeaters, so, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, you just go ahead and you feed them directly in. Now, I'm, I personally am going to be setting this up a little bit different, just pulling them and randomly mixing them with these, because as I mentioned, I did not do the actual entire keyboard, I just did a large portion of it, and I want to get, a, a, you know, all these keys at least done that I did, so they will work for you guys. So I'm just going to mix match them, but yours should actually hook up very nicely and look very clean. Um, it'll just have straight lines and everything. Uh, and very clean, very nice, and very color-coded. So thanks for watching, guys. If you guys like this episode, then click that thumbs up. If you disliked it, be sure to dislike it and tell me why. And go ahead and check out this video in the outro. See you guys later. Bye.